Hello everyone and welcome to another Tough Jobs edition of Cat World Webcast. I'm Luke Legner. Today, Cat Folks editor John Crowley goes out to the Mossville Engine Center to try not one, not two, but three tough jobs on the assembly line. Hopefully he's not too worn out by the end of the shift. Take it away, John. Luke, we're out here in the Mossville Engine Center and we're with L.A. Hightower, who works on the Sirius Nucleus line. Now, can you tell me a little bit, what makes this so serious? Uh, <laughs> nothing runs if the pistons ain't right. And here's what pistons look like. These moving parts are critical to making trucks and other equipment move for our customers. Now that's serious. What's, what am I going to be doing here to start? Okay, first of all, we're going to think about pretty much the safety part of it. Sure. So just uh, watch yourself as far as your fingers around here, okay? I what need these going? to type. Yeah, you, whatever you came with, we want you to leave with, Absolutely. Okay? <laughs> I do, I do too. <laughs> After the safety briefing, the first step is to oil the cylinders with something that resembles a toilet bowl brush. I need my brother in here, he's pretty short. <laughs> After that, yeah, it's time to pull the pistons into place as another person feeds them through from the other side of the engine block. So we put it in between these holes here? Yes. You press down, and you pull it through. Make sure they're tight. Then, it was my turn. I feel it. Now pull it through. Pull it, pull it hard. There you go. Pull it How'd I do, LA? You did pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to thank LA for helping us do the piston pull, and now we're over here, and uh, we're with Dennis Engel, who's Long-time Caterpillar employee? Yes. How many years? 32 years. 32 years. And uh, we're at the, uh, you tell me exactly what we're going to be doing. I know this is a tough job. Well, well we're going to be installing the flywheel housing. Flywheel housing. What does this do for the engine? Help me out this, for the, the this, novice here. Well, the flywheel actually goes inside this, the back part of the engine. Okay. It covers, covers the rear of the engine up and there's a place for the flywheel. Dennis told me that there are 15 different sizes of bolts that go into the various flywheel housings for the different engines that we make. Good exercise. Once the bolts are in, a lift is used to move the housing into position. And then it's bolted to the engine block. Some customer is gonna want this one. Well, we've done a couple of jobs out in Mossville today. One was piston pull. One was putting on the flywheel housing. And last for today, at least, I'm only doing three jobs today is uh, actually putting in a flywheel. Can you that's, tell? That's yeah, a big one That's too. a big flywheel. Maybe you could tell people uh, who are less experienced than the two of us <laughs> right? uh, what the flywheel does for the engine. Uh, the flywheel maintains the centrifugal force around it. OK. So it'll keep on running. So it'll keep on running. Like it go from one cylinder to another. So is this a moving part, then? Is it this is a, a moving part. It's a moving yeah. part. The concept for this station was simple. Put in the bolts. Torque them with a drill, and then the biggest wrench I've ever seen in my life. Yep, oh boy. Okay, I haven't heard a click. There we go. That's it. That's it. <laughs> That's, that's a big wrench, man. Now we put a little paint on that. Okay. Oh, it's perfect. It's in a mustard bottle. <laughs> Look at that. You don't want to put that on your hot dog. Is that it? I've done one? Yeah. I got to do two. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. the little one. Oh, the little baby. This one that's cute. That's, that's very cute. Let's get a flywheel on there. <laughs> okay. That's it. That's it. That one doesn't get the big... No, no. No, no. Just not a, everyone does. Not everyone. Thank God. Okay. 
That's great. Right. They're all different sizes. They're all different sizes for all different machines. Yeah. That's wonderful. Well, Steve, thank you for showing me the ropes on this line. Certainly. I appreciate it. Thanks for all your hard work. All right. We just finished three tough jobs. Three, three very nice people out here in the Mossville Engine Center. And engines like these now, right behind me, close to being done and shipping to customers all around the world. Thank you, Luke. Thanks, John. And you can read more about this story in the April issue of Cat Folks. And that does it for this Tough Jobs edition of Cat World Webcast. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.